I'm Jim Bridenstein, the NASA Administrator. Thank you to the International Astronautical Congress for providing us with this opportunity. I am here today to talk about the future, a future that is peaceful, free of conflict, and one where humanity explores and develops the moon and Mars in harmony. Achieving this future will require both vision and action, which is why it's my pleasure to sign, on behalf of the United States of America, the Artemis Accords. The principles described in the Artemis Accords are what will create a bright and prosperous future that we all want for ourselves and for generations to come. These principles are grounded in the Outer Space Treaty, the very foundation of international space law. The Outer Space Treaty is over 50 years old, but it doesn't look a day over 35. The Accords both reinforce and implement the obligations of the Outer Space Treaty. For the first time, we are establishing consequences for Outer Space Treaty compliance. Specifically, if a nation does not comply with the Outer Space Treaty, it cannot be a part of the Artemis program. The principles of the Accords are simple, intuitive, and universal. Transparency, rendering emergency assistance to astronauts in distress, respecting heritage sites, the public release of scientific data for all to enjoy. These are the values we want to take with us to the stars. Moreover, the Artemis Accords affirm the simple contention that we can, in fact, extract and utilize space resources. Countries and companies should be able to enjoy the fruits of their labor, and all such activities can and will be done in full compliance with the Outer Space Treaty. We also need to abide by the principle of due regard and utilize safety zones wherein nations will be responsible for public notification of where they are operating and to coordinate with any affected party to avoid harmful interference as required by the Outer Space Treaty. There is a lot more in the Artemis Accords, but fundamentally the Accords are about avoiding conflict, transparency, public registration, deconflicting activities. These are the principles that will preserve peace. So many conflicts in history have been caused by misperception and confusion. The Artemis Accords are crafted to prevent conflict before it happens. The nations which are participating in Artemis and are here today are committing to the principles of the Accords. However, the Artemis Accords were written to be inclusive and any responsible spacefaring nation should be able to abide by these principles and I really hope all countries will. I also want to emphasize that the Artemis Accords are the beginning, not an ending. The experiences we gain through the Artemis program and these accords will help to inform future multilateral discussions at the United Nations Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space and other international forums. The time has come to operationalize the Outer Space Treaty, and that is exactly what the Artemis Accords do. I am so proud to be here signing the Artemis Accords with this founding group of nations. The combined NASA and Department of, of State team has worked tirelessly with our partner space agencies and foreign ministries to craft the Artemis Accords. Therefore, the Artemis Accords belong to our partners as much as they do belong to us. And we thank our partners for their commitment to establishing peaceful norms of behavior in space and their excellent feedback on the text of the Artemis Accords. The Artemis program itself will be the broadest and most diverse international space exploration coalition in history. And these accords are the vehicle to achieve this unprecedented global cooperation. The Artemis journey is to the moon and on to Mars. But these accords, with these accords, the destination is more than the moon and Mars. It's about peace and prosperity. Hello, I'm Megan Clark, and I'm joined by Anthony Murford, and we're the head and deputy head of the Australian Space Agency. I'm really delighted to be here as part of the International Astronautical Congress and NASA's signing of the Artemis Accords. 
We're so proud that our agency, just two years old, can stand shoulder to shoulder with NASA and our counterparts from across the globe on the stage today to confirm our commitment to a safe, peaceful and prosperous future. It's through the principles of the Artemis Accords that we share a collective interest in the exploration of outer space for peaceful purposes and to contribute to society and economic growth. Australia and NASA have a long relationship that's continued from, for over 60 years. From the NASA radio tracking facility in Woomera, South Australia, to really helping NASA be a part of that famous broadcast, Humankind's First Steps on the Moon, and we were proud to be a very small part of that to the largest TV audience of the time. We recognise the past and ongoing collaborations, CSIRO, Geoscience Australia, our universities and industry. Just over a year ago, at NASA's headquarters in Washington, D.C., our Prime Minister Scott Morrison launched a new partnership between the Australian Space Agency and NASA on future space cooperation, including the opportunity for Australia to join the United States Moon to Mars exploration approach, including NASA's Artemis Lunar Program. The Australian government is investing $150 million for Australian businesses and researchers to join NASA's endeavour and investment here in Australia to deliver key capabilities for missions, for example, through participation in international supply chains that support NASA's missions. Australia is well positioned to support these activities as many of our technologies, like automation, are already in use in remote and harsh terrains, meaning there is less of a leap to show how these technologies can work in space. Given Australians' capabilities in space communication, robotics and automation, Earth observations, space medicine, as well as capabilities in the resources sector, Australia is ready to contribute its best ideas and know-how to support the future of space exploration. And as we invest in these technologies, we know we'll be improving our life here on Earth, as many of these technologies will also transform how we go about our everyday lives. As we undertake these activities, the agency will be guided, as always, by our values, and this includes being a responsible global citizen, Australia is committed to ensuring the safety and sustainability of space activities and meeting our international obligations. This signing today helps Australia advance space as we partner with NASA, our international counterparts on the Artemis mission, and we go forward to the moon and on to Mars. Good day, bonjour. I'm Lisa Campbell, president of the Canadian Space Agency. Canada is happy to be part of this group of spacefaring nations committed to conducting deep space exploration missions in a safe and sustainable manner and in full compliance with the Outer Space Treaty. Le Canada est heureux de faire partie des pays qui s'engagent à mener des missions d'exploration de l'espace lointain de manière sûre et durable dans le plein respect du traité sur l'espace extra-atmosphérique. Canada's space sector is gearing up for missions to the moon and beyond. We are a proud partner of the Lunar Gateway to which we're contributing CanadaArm3, a smart robotic system. We're also funding science and technology developments in fields like artificial intelligence, robotics and health through our Lunar Exploration Accelerator program. Canada recognizes the exciting opportunities presented by emerging exploration, science and commercial space activities. The set of principles outlined in the Artemis Accords represents an important first step towards ensuring that these missions are conducted in a safe, sustainable and transparent manner. Le Canada est bien au fait des possibilités extraordinaires qu'offrent les nouvelles activités d'exploration spatiale, tant scientifiques que commerciales. Tous les principes énoncés dans les accords Artemis constituent une première étape importante vers la réalisation sûre, durable et transparente des missions. We will be consulting Canadians on these emerging space activities. Our goal is to determine how best to implement the principles of the Artemis Accords in a way that positions Canadian industry to leverage new opportunities while ensuring we continue to meet our obligations under the Outer Space Treaty. At the same time, we will continue working with the international community through the UN Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space. The Artemis Accords are an important achievement for safe and sustainable space exploration but more work is needed to further solidify the framework for deep space exploration activities, both nationally and internationally. 
Canada is excited to be working with the international community as we safely and sustainably expand our exploration beyond Earth's orbit. Le Canada se réjouit de collaborer avec la communauté internationale pour mener l'exploration spatiale bien au-delà de l'orbite terrestre de façon sûre et durable. Thank you. Merci. Cari amici e cofirmatari, sono particolarmente contento oggi di poter firmare con voi a nome dell'Italia gli Artemis Accords. Una firma storica perché apre un nuovo e entusiasmante capitolo nell'esplorazione spaziale dopo 50 anni dal primo sbarco sulla Luna. Questo documento permetterà a noi e alle generazioni future un'esplorazione pacifica, sicura, sostenibile dello spazio. Il fine è quello di migliorare la vita sulla Terra. L'Italia ha costruito in circa 50 anni una solida e concreta collaborazione internazionale nel settore dell'esplorazione dello spazio, dal primo lancio di un satellite italiano nel 1964 fino al primo astronauta italiano a bordo dello Shuttle nel 1992 e fino alla nostra bandiera con il logo dell'Agenzia Spaziale Italiana a bordo della Stazione Spaziale Internazionale. Qui voglio sottolineare che una parte consistente del volume abitabile della Stazione Spaziale Internazionale è stato progettato e realizzato proprio in Italia e siamo fieri del nostro contributo all'esplorazione dello spazio. Con la firma di oggi ratifichiamo questo nostro impegno comune per il ritorno della presenza umana sulla Luna, stavolta in maniera stabile ma anche per andare oltre, verso Marte, verso le comete e gli asteroidi. Grazie all'esperienza e alla tecnologia della nostra industria, vogliamo fare la nostra parte perché tutto questo avvenga nel più breve tempo possibile. Quello di oggi quindi è un punto di partenza, non di arrivo. Ci auguriamo che tanti altri paesi seguiranno e si uniranno a noi nell'attuazione dei principi contenuti negli Artemis Accord, perché l'esplorazione dello spazio è una sfida che va affrontata insieme per il bene dell'umanità una sfida civile, commerciale, scientifica, che richiede grande senso di responsabilità per assicurare una prospettiva di lungo termine all'attività spaziale. Voglio in conclusione sottolineare i principi e i valori dell'esplorazione extra-atmosferica che sono contenuti in questo documento. Tutti i programmi legati allo spazio devono avere come unico obiettivo quello di portare benefici all'intera umanità, è un impegno che assumiamo nei confronti delle nuove generazioni, con la consapevolezza che il nostro futuro può dipendere dallo sviluppo, della conoscenza, della cooperazione pacifica, non solo sulla Terra, ma anche nello spazio.宇宙探査利用活動に関する重要な諸原則を定めるアルテミス合意に署名することができ光栄ですこの合意で定められる諸原則は将来の宇宙活動に関する国際ルール作りにとって大きな指針となるものと期待しておりますアルテミス計画は
文部科学大臣の萩生田光一です本日署名するアルティミス合意は民生宇宙活動について国際的な共通ビジョンを確立する重要なものですこのような合意に本日井上大臣とともに各国代表の皆様と署名することができ大変光栄です昨年10月に日本政府がアルテミス計画への参画を表明したことを受けて本年7月ブライデンスタイン NASA 長官と私の間で月探査協力に関する共同宣言に署名しました本宣言はアルテミス計画における日米の具体的な協力内容を確認したものであり我が国は月探査活動において歴史的な一歩を踏み出しました月面探査については民間企業からの関心も極めて高い状況です月面ローバーの開発をはじめとして月面における拠点建設、食料生産、水資源利用、電池の開発などさまざまな分野において約100社の企業が JAXA との共同研究を行っておりますまた我が国は学術としての宇宙科学、探査にも力を入れております年末には小惑星探査機はやぶさ2が地球近傍に帰還し搭載するカプセルを地球に落下させた後探査機本体はさらに10年以上をかけて新たな小惑星探査を行う計画となっております加えて将来の火星探査も視野に火星の衛星からのサンプルの回収分析を目指す計画も推進しているところであり2024年の探査機打ち上げに向け研究開発を加速させているところですこうした探査活動は我が国が国際宇宙ステーションのために開発したコウノトリや日本実験棟希望によって独自に培ってきた技術によって支えられております今月末には我が国の野口宇宙飛行士が米国初の民間宇宙船に搭乗して ISS に向かう予定ですこの機会を活用して我が国の宇宙探査活動にもより一層の弾みがつくことを期待しております今般世界を襲った新型コロナウイルスの脅威は我々の生活に多大なる影響を与えましたこのような未曾有の危機的状況においてもフロンティアへの挑戦を続けていくことは人々に希望を与えまた科学的知見のみならず新たな市場を創出していくという長期的な観点からも意義深いものです宇宙探査活動は人類の技術的科学的知見の獲得に貢献し各国共通の社会課題の解決に資するものでありますアルテミス合意はこのような宇宙探査活動を各国や民間企業とも共同しながら安全かつ持続的に実施していく上で重要な宣言です。本日の署名により皆様との協力をより一層深めてまいりたいと考えております。Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great pleasure for me to sign the Artemis Accords on behalf of Luxembourg. The Artemis Accords integrate very well with the efforts Luxembourg has been making both nationally and internationally to support the peaceful exploration and sustainable utilization of space, and more specifically, space resources for the benefit of humankind. With the Space Resources LU initiative launched in 2016, Luxembourg's strategy has always been to strengthen the space sector and promote the creation of a healthy space ecosystem. This by undertaking concrete actions and measures in the fields of regulation, education, research, innovation, and long term funding. In 2017, Luxembourg adopted a national law on the exploration and use of space resources. It is an enabler to contribute to further security and clarity, so much needed by the different stakeholders. Luxembourg also strongly supported the discussions of the Hague Group. Which led to a list of 20 building blocks that could serve for future international framework. We continue to actively support the discussions in relevant international fora, in particular in the legal subcommittee of the United Nations Committee on the Peaceful Use of Outer Space. We are convinced that the Artemis Accords will lead to valuable knowledge sharing and technical understanding of the key issues, which, in turn, Will further discussions and progress at the United Nations. In the next months, LSA and NASA will further explore concrete opportunities for cooperation within the Artemis program. 
defining Luxembourg's contribution to the programme based on our existing and future capacities. This in areas such as prospecting of resources, surface mobility and operations and energy. We are proud to be part of the first group of countries signing the Accords. They represent the beginning of an open and inclusive dialogue originating from a very ambitious space programme. There are many challenges on the way which we can only overcome by working inclusively together with other countries and by looking for new innovative solutions. It is a very exciting time to be involved in the vibrant space sector. Luxembourg is committed to maintaining the strong momentum built up over the last decades. We will consolidate further our position as a leading and pioneering space player, working in close harmony with international partners. I am pleased to announce that the United Arab Emirates today became a signatory to the Artemis Accords. The Accords reinforce a number of important principles established by existing international treaties. They provide a framework for the continuation of multinational cooperation in space and planetary science and exploration. We are passionate proponents of the ideal of international collaboration and have ourselves benefited from many fruitful partnerships as we have evolved our own space program. We have also been able to make increasingly effective contributions to international efforts to push the boundaries in our shared human knowledge and understanding of our universe. We are one human race and we are in this together. From agreeing basic standards regarding the interoperability of systems through to underpinning important principles of safety and standards to guide operational excellence, the Accords help us to work together for the benefit of all. It is in this spirit that we welcome this initiative NASA has taken to strengthen the broad principles of peaceful human exploration and coexistence in space. Everything we learn from our journeys to space helps us in our understanding of our fragile world and the planetary systems that sustain humanity. Our commitment to scientific research, planetary science and space systems engineering is rooted in our desire to nurture and build opportunities for our young people to further our nation's development. We believe we can better succeed in this through collaboration and with shared commitment. We are delighted to agree these principles which bind us all to working together peacefully in a spirit of respect, coexistence and openness. Hello everyone, I hope you're well and staying safe. My name is Graham Turnock and I'm the Chief Executive of the UK Space Agency. I'd like to begin by thanking colleagues at NASA for inviting me to join you on this momentous occasion for all involved. The Artemis Accords represent an ambitious and collaborative approach to the future of space exploration. Here in the UK, they add to the existing international cooperation that we are proud to be part of. The international collaboration envisaged under the Artemis Accords, ranging from space science to exploration and research, support an even stronger relationship between the UK and the US, as well as providing a strong basis for further collective effort amongst international partners. The UK Space Agency will continue to contribute to the Artemis programme through our membership of the European Space Agency, and additionally, we are now keen to explore building further bilateral partnerships. The UK Space Agency has recently launched the international element of our new National Space Innovation Programme, which focuses on bilateral collaboration with global partners. By strengthening these relationships, we will support the UK's global ambitions in civil space and generate new opportunities for collaboration that can benefit us all. A funding call for the programme is now live and all information regarding submitting proposals is now available online. The principles of the Artemis Accords align with the values we hold here at the UK Space Agency. This is reflected through our spaceflight programme, where we recognise the importance of the next generation and the need to inspire them in what we do today, while ensuring the sustainability of the space environment for their future. Additionally, our ambitions for commercial spaceflight provide a great example of UK-US collaboration in the new space age. I was delighted to see the recent signing of the Technology Safeguards Agreement, which will allow for US and UK companies to work together, establishing new models of commercial launch. This will enable the first space launches from UK soil in the coming years. 
The Artemis Accords are a great achievement for the US and all those involved, and we are pleased to be a key member of this first collaborative program. The UK Space Agency wants to continue working closely with the US and our partners around the world and to explore new space projects that will benefit all of us moving forward. I'm therefore delighted to be signing the Artemis Accords on behalf of the UK Space Agency and Her Majesty's Government. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much. It's my honor to conclude today the successful signing of the Artemis Accords. On behalf of Secretary Pompeo and the Department of State, I'd like to thank and congratulate each of the space agencies and ministries of foreign affairs that are with us today. Today, we prove that space is not just the final frontier. It's a friendly and a free frontier. The United States is proud to help lead the free countries of the world in pursuit of our shared goals beyond Earth. And as the leader of the State Department team that oversees space exploration, and as the proud father of the NASA rocket scientist who designed the robot arm for the latest Mars rover, I'm honored to be part of today's historic event. U.S. investments in space exploration and development reflect America's steadfast support for the common values that bind the free world. And this includes trust, transparency, democracy, economic freedom, respect for rule of law, and respect for human rights. These values will follow us into outer space. The Apollo missions brought Americans to the moon over 50 years ago. The Artemis program, named after the twin sister of Apollo in Greek mythology, will bring us back and prepare us for future missions to Mars and beyond. The United States does not want to embark on this journey alone. We are building a coalition of like-minded nations to join us. And the Artemis Accords are an important first step, representing a shared vision for sustainable exploration of the moon and Mars. The Artemis Accords build upon the existing legal regime established by the Outer Space Treaty and focus on the principles that will apply to future operations on the lunar surface and beyond. And these principles include the need for transparency, the importance of widespread availability of scientific data, the value of extracting and utilizing space resources to maintain a sustainable human presence in outer space, and, of course, the need to operate safely and responsibly. These principles will provide tangible benefits to all of the nations gathered here and all of humankind. We look forward to talking about these principles with all countries active in outer space, including at the United Nations Committee on the Peaceful Use of Outer Space. Artemis represents a network of trusted partners for the largest, most diverse, international human space exploration campaign in history. And this is comprised of not only many of America's traditional allies and space-faring partners, but also many of our great private sector companies. Artemis includes numerous private-public sector partnerships ranging from delivering cargo all the way to producing the human landing system itself. While the Accords are government-to-government -government agreements, we hope their principles will create an environment in space that is conducive to robust commercial investment, development, and operations. To achieve the $1 trillion space economy that we envision, we must promote and partner with commercial space innovators and entrepreneurs. Once again, I thank today's signatories, your leadership and dedication 
to international cooperation will advance peaceful and prosperous space exploration and utilization activities that benefit all humankind. I reiterate that America will invest in space in a manner that promotes our fundamental belief in democracy, rule of law, human rights, and the economic value of fair trade and private enterprise. Not every nation supports these ideals, so those that do must stick together. There is strength in numbers and strength in unity and solidarity. I extend an invitation to other nations to pledge your support for the principles of the Artemis Accords and your interest in joining us in our quest to extend a permanent human presence on the moon, Mars, and beyond. May God bless this coalition of trusted partners, and may God bless outer space. I thank you. So for all of our international partners who are joining us today in the Artemis Accords, let's sign. I want to thank the International Astronautical Congress for giving us this opportunity. I want to thank all of our international partners who signed with us today the Artemis Accords. And I want to thank the NASA and the Department of State teams that worked so hard getting us to this point. While a good number of countries signed the Artemis Accords today, there is room for more. And we look forward to working with all of our international partners um, as we move forward with peace and prosperity uh, in the exploration and development of space. Ad Astra.